I'm Roger Beardmore. I'm giving the devotional today, Monday, the day of judgment and grace, Mark 11, verses 12 through 19. Our Lord has entered Jerusalem for the last time in what we call the triumphal entry. He is proclaiming that he is the promised Messiah, the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecy, and the Davidic king. What will he do now? Raise an army? Conquer Israel's enemies? Set up a new government in Jerusalem? No, he will do something else. He will curse, verses 11 through 14, and he will cleanse, verses 12 through 19. What do these two acts mean? Monday is a day of judgment. Seen together, Christ's cursing of the fig tree and the cleansing of the temple represent God's final judgment on Israel as the chosen people of God. Building on familiar Old Testament images that describe the nation of Israel, the Son of God pronounces a curse on a fig tree as he enters Jerusalem. He explains the meaning of the word of judgment in Matthew 21 and verse 43, that God will take away the kingdom of God from the Jewish nation. They had forfeited it through their rejection of Jesus. Surely our God is a consuming fire, Hebrews 12 and verse 29. Yet this Monday is also a day of grace. God's kingdom will be taken from Israel and given to a people producing its fruits, Matthew 21 and 43. The kingdom of God does not end with the end of Israel, but as promised in the Old Testament, will come to its fulfillment in the New Testament Israel of God, Galatians 6, 16. Into this spiritual kingdom all may enter with a circumcision made without hands by the circumcision of Christ, Colossians 2, 11. We no longer look to an earthly temple because Christ is our temple. From now on, Christ's presence in us and with us makes us his people. We become his temple. The Son of God came as the Lamb of God to take away the sin of the world. Let us never forget that our God is love and grace, John 3:16. What is our reaction to this? Let us make it a day of praise, joy, and thanksgiving. Let us rejoice that Christ has brought us into his temple and his kingdom by his blood, for he himself is our peace and has broken down the middle wall of partition between Jew and Gentile. What does God require of us but to look to Christ and put our whole faith and hope in him? Salvation becomes ours when we come to God through Jesus Christ receiving mercy and praising him for his goodness and love. True life is worship and praise to God for his grace to us in Christ. Lord, we ask forgiveness for our slowness of heart to believe all that you have spoken. Grant us the spiritual sight to see all the truth about you in Jesus and the joy that you work in us when we exalt the Son of God as our great high priest and king. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.